Lymphedema is an important cardiovascular disorder associated with the accumulation of fluid in both the legs, arms, and the trunk. Mobility is decreased, quality of life is decreased, independence is decreased, and patients suffer. I'm impressed that this research is the first of its kind. This was a large national study that clearly measured important clinical outcomes. One of the problems in the care of lymphedema is that there have been very few well-conducted and appropriately designed studies. And the net result is that patients who suffer from these problems often face obstacles in terms of reimbursement for care or availability of resources because the payers are unwilling or reluctant to pay for treatments for which there is not a good evidence base. So we felt that this was an important study to do because there is some indication that this kind of treatment would be very effective. Now we have a very solid piece of evidence. There was a 79% reduction in episodes of cellulitis. This has never been achieved with any other lymphedema treatment prior to this time. We want to identify effective treatments that are going to improve patients' health and at the same time do that at a lower cost. We used administrative and claims data from a large national insurer and we examined the healthcare cost, healthcare utilization, and clinical outcomes of lymphedema patients who were prescribed the device. And we compared these outcomes in the one year prior to them receiving the device to the one year post receiving the device. And our study sample included 718 patients and 374 of these patients had cancer. We found a large 37% reduction in these costs for patients with cancer and a very similar 36% reduction in the cost for patients without cancer. Less encounters with the healthcare system not only lower health costs to the system itself, but also to patients who have many out-of-pocket expenses such as copays, supplies, and medicine. It also gives patients a gift, time. These factors can combine to yield a potential win in terms of improved quality of life for patients with lymphedema on several fronts. As a physician who treats patients with lymphedema, I always seek to identify studies that are directly relevant to my clinical practice. Such studies evaluate a large number of patients for a prolonged period of time and evaluate outcomes that are important to the patient experience. This study satisfies these criteria.